Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Sadi and for this video, this is the mining exploration guide or the gameplay rather for the mining mayhem. So without further ado, let's go down to business. But before that, please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. So this event is a combination of chaos and indeed a mayhem. It's because you need to, there is only one safe zone here, the zone 1, but the zone 2 and zone 3 are not safe at all. And even if you are in zone 1, they can actually attack your auxiliary buildings and at the same time, they can attack or any players can attack your settlements. So each map will have six alliances and it will be divided into two division and that will be the division top and top down division and each division will have three alliances. So these three alliances are going to fight for alliance points by occupying research lab as well as gathering amethyst and other gems and whoever has the highest uh, points for that division will proceed to the second stage which is going to fight for the middle research lab against another division. The map is divided into three zones. The zone 1 which is the green part which is only for alliance members and the research lab there can only be occupied by alliance members. The second zone however is where is the chaos or the mayhem is going to start because this uh, research lab, the 6 or 7 research lab there in that desert area can be occupied or attacked by any players in the division. So there will be three alliances that is going to fight for this research lab to occupy but then there is a catch guys you can only occupy the research lab that is connected to your road map so you need to occupy one research lab and then connect it to the another one occupy that other research for you to be able to go to another road that is going to land to the other research lab so when the mine exploration starts at reset, actually they didn't open it and reset in PTR because there was a problem, but the first zone will open on reset and the players can occupy their alliance research lab or what they call the amethyst research lab. This amethyst research lab is only for alliance members and other alliances cannot occupy this research lab. However, once you occupy that or complete the occupancy of the research lab, other players can actually attack your auxiliary buildings that you are going to build. And at the same time, other players from different alliances within that map can also attack other players settlement so be sure or be careful about it guys make sure that you have your recon jammer as well as you have your shield this event, the two most important buildings aside from the auxiliary buildings or the main buildings here are the tower and at the same time the research lab. So for zone 1, you have the amethyst and for you to be able to unlock the scales on your towers, you need to collect as many amethyst as you can that is scattered in the zone on zone 1 for that. And just a reminder guys that the tower and at the same time the research lab opens at the same time and at the same time it closes at the same time and the occupancy duration will be 30 minutes and you have 30 minutes to collect or gather all the requirements or the amethyst or the ore for you to be able to unlock the scales in the tower so once each research lab are open your goal or your responsibility is to collect ores occupy the research lab and feed the gems or amethyst or the ore to the towers to unlock specific scales or additional scales for every research lab occupied, Alliance can build one combat building and one economic or logistics building of choice each auxiliary buildings can be stacked up to three times and of course the more research lab that your alliance can occupy the more points you have and on the more chances for you to get to the finals the only research lab that cannot be occupied or attacked by other alliances is the amethyst research lab while the ores the seven levels of different levels of ores can be challenged by any alliance within your division so this will be a battle between three alliances for occupancy of different levels of the research lab for zone two 
Once an alliance occupied a research lab, the leader needs to assign a captain on that specific research lab and then the captain is the one who is going to decide or dependent on your alliance strategy if what buildings needs to be built. Each building or auxiliary building rather will require five minutes for construction but this duration will lower down every time another player is going to help the construction. So the more players to send troops to the garrison or the building construction, the faster the buildings are going to build. But at the same time, the more uh, troops that is going to demolish the same buildings or your auxiliary buildings are being attacked by other players, the faster the demolition of your own auxiliary buildings. And since this event is a nine days event, once you get to the map, guys, make it a habit that before you log off, you need to make sure that you have your shield if you don't have a lot of troops because you can actually get zeroed in this event and at the same time, you can get permanent losses. So the auxiliary buildings will add additional boost or buffs to the entire alliance, whereas the towers every time you unlock a level, it will unlock specific skills that your alliance need for the fights so zone one there will be no fight the fights will start on zone two which is actually the ones that your alliance leader scheduled or registered on day one to unlock the skills in the tower you need to collect on zone one a lot of amethyst and to make sure that you add it or gather and add it to the towers for you to unlock different levels of scales there are six skills in the tower at the amethyst area or zone one and this also includes the ability to kill enemies within the amethyst area or zone one just a reminder guys as well that the boost or the buffs that you are going to get there is only applicable to all settlements that are located in the mine area each of these skills have its duration at the same time, so make sure to pay attention once you activate the skills. There are four different sources of alliance points or the division points that you need for you to be able to secure your spot to get to the finals. And since this event is dependent or the victory of your alliance is dependent on the amount of points that you make it is a must for your entire alliance or entire members to join or participate to this event so there are four different types where you can get your points be it for the entire alliance or for individual the first one is by killing other players within the mine area the second one is gathering resources like the amethyst and the ore the third one will be the occupancy of your research lab and then the fourth one, once the lab and the towers are closed, the, uh, the last uh, choice for you to get additional points is by completing the task that will include killing the infected, rallying the infected fiend, and gathering resources like food and wood. This is the basic on how you are going to get points or how you are going to play the Mining Mayhem under your Mining Exploration or Zone 1. I will be doing another video for Zone 2 once we are done competing at 18 UTC today. And at the same time, I also added a little gameplay of for the zone one at the end of this video before i end this video i'm just going to, to inform everyone for the new uh, campaign from the huawei app gallery germany for their winter campaign so for this campaign all you get to do is uh different from the christmas hat last time all you get to do here is collect as many snowflakes as you can every day and collect or exchange it into different gadgets as well all you gotta do is log in via your facebook vk or huawei account to keep your progress every day of course in case you are using huawei app gallery there are three ways for you to collect the snowflake so in case you haven't played this game yet the first one is to download the game and automatically you will be able to get 40 snowflakes by playing state of survival the second one is by sharing so for every successful share that you do you can get five snowflakes and at the same time share this campaign to a friend and receive five snowflakes every time up to 10 per day so every day you can get up to 50 snowflakes 
The last option for you to be able to get snowflakes is every time you spend, you will get equivalent uh, snowflakes for every a month that you spend. So for, for example, you spend 8 euros, you get 10 snowflakes. 16 euros will give you 20. 41 euro will give you 50 snowflakes. And 82 euro or the 100 pack in Google Play Store or other Play Store will give you 100 snowflakes. So this will run from December 15 to December 31. And you can claim your prices at the bottom anytime the amount of snowflakes that you save up every day will refresh daily and at the same time you will have a chance to claim uh, different gadgets dependent on the amount of snowflakes that you have collected so for example for 50 snowflakes you can exchange that to five euro coupon for 2,000 snowflakes, you can exchange that to Huawei MatePad 11. For 3,750 snowflakes, you can exchange that to Huawei Nova 9 phone. And for 10,313 snowflakes, you can exchange that to a MateBook X Pro. And for 13,695 snowflakes, you can exchange that to a MateBook X Pro, uh, Huawei MatePad 11, Nova 9 Plus Watch 3. These are the prices that are available to claim dependent on the amount of snowflakes that you have for the winter campaign and at the same time there will be a lot of campaigns like this in the future so make sure to check out the campaigns that Huawei App Gallery is adding every month in your Huawei App Gallery guys. I am going to disclose the name of this player but he was able to collect 2,090 snowflakes and he was able to exchange it to one Huawei MatePad 11. You can redeem any of these gadgets anytime as long as you have enough uh, snowflakes to use but you can get or you can receive them after December 31. That's it for today guys and I'm going to post another gameplay for Zone 2 once we finish the fights at 18 UTZ today. See you in my next videos guys. Bye!